more vampire. Where we last left off, we met this guy, Jonathan, turned to a vampire. Now we saved a human. We're just gonna we're gonna go talk it's to It's okay, the Jonathan. I'll see you later. Oh. Um okay. So So I'm gonna see what's Come going on, on over boss. Oh wait, hold on. You can do better than that. Nah. It's my turn. What's going on here? Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river, try it all. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard! I won't buy. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spill it out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. About the block quality. Okay, so much I can see. Yeah, okay. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Okay, well, how do I get in? Oh, through here. I didn't see it there. Still standing after this epidemic. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt ambulance. introduction, Mr. Did Hooks. They you can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, no, no. Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Mind. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, 
Remember, I may have something for you. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Hmm. Oh, a shotgun. Okay. Let's see. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Supposed to be like a staircase somewhere. Oh, there were stairs, though, so on the other side. Okay. Oh yeah, over here. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. All right, let's see what we got here. I want to check out my firearm. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. I 
boots on my stuff. I think I'm gonna have to save more people. is complete. White coat. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Hurry now, Doctor. It's freezing. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drug shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance! This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. How do I get back there? Oh, just like that. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Behavior is similar to 
to the infected William Bishop. This must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. It's locked, all right. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain Iron Tartar. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. <sighs> to drink blood is so tempting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 
how they use the gun. I don't know. I cannot enter. I will be announcing the winner for the digital copy of Logan probably next Saturday, this Saturday because I will be going to another flea market so hopefully I'll have like another like update, another DVD or Blu-ray update to them. After that update I'll announce the winner of Logan or sometime this week I'll just post a separate video that's just a quick one to just announce the winner. So. Yeah, that's coming soon this week, so stay tuned for that. And yes, I am trying to buy more movies to unbox for you guys and give away more codes. It's just which ones to buy and just... Yeah, it's getting hard to find movies that I need, but I'm trying my best. And Okay, for a second my thing froze. But yes, more unboxings and digital code giveaways are coming soon.
it's locked, all right. Use taxol. Okay, seriously, I'm lost. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Goodbye, Milt. You've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. I will not let you down, Lord. Remember, Stasis Blood will provide you with that. They may lack the resources, but we have some of the most brilliant minds in London. Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. 
The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. I cannot enter. Flew took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <coughs> Mr. Rainfields, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <coughs> Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind, the blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Dr. Swansea. 
Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. My name is Lady Ashbury. I remember you well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies. You've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to see you. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must refuse his most recent demands. Please continue. Every detail is essential. I'm your man. My embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk. The threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear. A list of dates. My visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands, Dr. Reed. I'm sure of your discretion, but I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Simpletons, these nurses. Bred with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swanson? Please, calm down, madam. I assure you that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> How brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts slit a poor sod's vein. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them.
It's locked, all right. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Have you heard of any blackmailing going on within these walls? I have no time for mortal games. My secrets are beyond their comprehension, Dr. Reed. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett's, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. We're here to save lives. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Do you know if any of the hospital staff have criminal backgrounds? The people who work here all come from very different backgrounds, Doctor. Just like the patients. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this part. If you guys want more, make sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like on this video, hit the bell to be notified for new videos, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.